Hi, my name is Sochi Lopez and I'm Palos Crew Manager at Friends of the Forest Reserves. Our conservation crews are dedicated to removing invasive plants that threaten the health of the forest reserves. But today is a special day and we're going to be doing something a little different. I'll be interviewing some longtime volunteer stewards and they might be showing us around to some of their favorite spots. I have a lot of favorite places here in the forest preserves and they're north, they're south, they're all over, but here in the southwest, almost um, any place you go, it's just wonderful. Right now we're at Sagawa um, Environmental Learning Center and um, we're on a mowed grass trail. There's two and a half miles of trail loops here, so you could do a trail and then you could sit down and then do another trail and sit down. I especially like to recommend that people go on trails because then they can see a wider area, they can see different habitat, and they can kind of experience being in the landscape just by staying on the trail. And also, it's much better for the habitat because we're healing up a lot of these areas with the restoration work that we're doing, and so we really like it when people stay on the trails so that the land can heal up. So we've got the best preserves in the county. We have so much variety, so much uh, diversity of land out here, it's just mind-blowing. My favorite spot in Palos, I like to tell people, is where, wherever I'm standing at the moment. Um, but truthfully, Swallow Cliff is one. Um, I go on the stairs for exercise. I cross-country ski the Loop Trail in the South Woods. And we volunteer here as well. Okay, if you're coming to visit the Palos Preserves, it would depend on what you want to see. Uh, if you're a birder, I would say McClowry Springs for sure. But I've also heard uh, a lot of good sightings at Spears Woods. Um, here at Swallow Cliff, at uh, Cap Sowers Holding, a lot of different places. If you like uh, fantastic topography, Cap Sowers, Willow Springs, Willow West, great ravines and bluffs. Um, that's a lot of the attraction of Palos, that it's not flat like a lot of the rest of Illinois. Spring wildflowers, um, definitely black partridge woods, McCowry Springs, paddock woods are great, Swallow Cliff as well. Um, well, I have uh literally hundreds of favorite spots, especially because the seasons change, you know, at any given time, one spot or another spot. Uh, but yeah, this is a, a really great spot. We're out in the middle of Spears Woods, and that's Hogwash Slough, uh, which I always like the name. You, you, it's like, where do these things get their names from? And well, some forest preserve gave, person gave it to them. But anyway, you say Hogwash, you think, oh, they're the, the pigs were here. Some, this is some clue to the hogwash. Nonsense. I always thought that was a funny name. Anyway, it's a very nice pond, one way or the other, name or not. And it's really interesting and cool. We've worked a lot on these woods, and I see, you know, all the you know, birds, like there's a, a red-headed woodpecker flying around, and uh, uh, it's just a... It's a great spot. There's something for everybody here, as they say, a lot of wildflowers, a lot of birds. So this is American bellflower right here. And over here we have Joe Pie weed, and we have hog peanut. So this area's got, well, got a lot of diversity. And even down by the um, ground level, we have some different sedges. And we're gonna have a bunch of asters that will bloom a little bit later in the year. This one here is gonna be real pretty with blue flowers. This is tall blue lettuce right here, uh, lettuce fl floridiana, I think is the name of it. Um, but you can see there's a lot of beautiful diversity here, and so it's really fun to come here and see how the scenery changes from season to season. This whole area was um, encroached in really deeply with uh, um, honeysuckle. Honeysuckle is a plant that um, people put into their yards. A lot of times people think of the plants that they put in their yard from a human perspective, like what do I like? And I think now it's kind of nice that people are starting to think about putting things in that the insects and the birds are going to like because we need them. We're all part of this planet. The honeysuckle um, got very thick and we had to bring the volunteers in to help cut it out. And it hasn't just been the volunteers. We've had a lot of help. We have help from the Friends of the Forest. We have help from the Shedd Aquarium, we have help from um, Friends of the Chicago River. Uh, right now we're fortunate enough to have a grant from the Illinois Clean Energy Foundation. We've got a grant here in McClowry Springs and we also have a grant at Willow Springs and 
These are going to be helping us bring out more people to get the work done. And also, they've helped us get um, Conservation Corps out to do a lot of great work um, on the ground. This side got fire when the prairie was set on fire, but this side didn't, so this side got much more brushy. And this side is almost all oaks. This side used to have in a lot of cherry and other things. We need to thin trees to get it into better shape, really. It's all about getting a little more light in the woods. Let's see what the prairie looks like. When you get a, a, a burn, a landscape fire that the Forest Preserve does, you can often get a lot more flowers even. Here's some uh, Baptisia. This is a nice native plant. Those are the pods. Here's some uh, early goldenrod. Hasn't quite flowered yet. Just starting. The goldenrods tend to be later in the season. And they're all yellow as their name indicates. Well, we have some thimbleweed here. Oh, here's an old one. This is interesting. I guess it's a, oh, that's one from last year, but this is the head left over. Uh, you can kind of see why it's called thimble wheat, and here's the seed left over still on the stem, an old stem from last year. It's kind of a cottony, uh, fluffy uh, thing, and we can kind of scatter that. Oh, here's some, uh, they haven't flowered. <laughs> well, here's our big blue stem. Uh, that's a, a, a native grass, but here's our uh, prairie dock called and with the big fan-shaped leaves that are cool because the roots run so far down. Now this is going to flower like a sunflower. It hasn't quite come out yet. I want to talk a little bit about the volunteer work that we've been doing here at Swallow Cliff South. The preserve itself has been under management since the 1990s by uh, Forest Preserve staff and contractors. But in end of February or March 2017, started right at the top of uh, the hill here along the trail, clearing brush. Right after that, uh, burn crew came in and burned a little section up there. And by sometime in April, we had blood root popping up where there had been none just uh, weeks earlier. Our, our steward, Jackie Maidov, says, this place is like a treasure chest. Just let, let the sunlight in and it'll do the rest of the work for you. And that's what we're finding. Right now, the best way to volunteer is to contact us and get put on an invitation list. So if you uh, go to RestorePalos.com, that's our website, or uh, RestorePalos at gmail.com.